MRP order statuses uh, tell MRP what the current uh, circumstance is around that particular order. We have planned orders, firm planned orders, which are used in the master production schedule, released orders, closed and purchase orders. The steps in uh, releasing the order are, first of all, check your action messages from MRP and we'll look at how we do that. Then check it material availability, create the shop packet or uh, purchase requisition, which is sometimes called the scheduled receipt or paperwork release, allocate components to the work order in 1613-1, and then release the planned order creating the scheduled receipt. Scheduled receipts are basically defined as paperwork release. You can't uh, change a scheduled receipt as easily can as a planned order. Uh, 2310 brings us to our planned order approval process. And when you uh, walk through that, uh, this will generate a firm planned order for each one of those planned orders. So it's going to change it from an F or a P uh, MRP status to an F MRP status. Same thing with uh, 2311 planned order releases. Uh, this generates a purchase requisition in the amount of each one of those planned orders. Rescheduling. As we had said before, MRP reschedules or is a good tool to help us keep our schedules intact. Uh, once we run re, uh, the re-explosions, we can replan uh, MRP. And MRP uses a couple of rules to uh, do that reschedule. If I look at uh, my assembly or my MRP uh, explosion again, you can see I've got a scheduled receipt in period three, a scheduled receipt in period six, and a scheduled receipt in period five or uh, nine. Uh, the rules for misalignment are that an open order scheduled for a period in which the on hand in the previous goes negative, period two, it will expedite it, or if the order is in a period where the gross requirements is equal to or less than the projected in quantity, and it's going to tell us to de-expedite, and if there's no requirements, it's going to tell us to uh, cancel it. So if we go through here, you can see that it's going to tell you to expedite that 200 from period two to period two, three to period two. That's going to bring me down to here, I have a scheduled receipt of 50, 50 available in period five, zero in period six is a gross requirement. That means I don't need that, so it's going to tell me to de-expedite that. And I don't have any requirement for uh, this arm assembly out past period nine, so it's gonna tell me to cancel that. So those are the uh, rules for mis misalignment. If you look at uh, the order action messages, MRP has a tool that allows you to uh, deal with all of the order action messages. There are over 50 action messages in QAD that you should become uh, aware of. The rules or the requirement for accuracy in MRP cannot be stated enough. The effective use of MRP requires knowledge, planners who know what they're doing, accuracy in terms of on hand, on order, planning data, and a regular discipline for bills of material, inventory, and shop floor control. If we look at uh, the individual uh, menus within QAD where these data elements are contained, you can see in 1.4.7 item planning or 1.4.17 item site planning, We've got these uh, requirements of master scheduling order policy lead times. So you can review what your order policies are in terms of how MRP is going to uh, use those. In terms of the product structure, here's the parent component relationship, the quantity per, the start date, uh, and those scrap factors we talked about. Same thing in terms of uh, formulas. 
in the transaction by item browse, you're going to see all of the transactions that affect quantity on hand. And quantity on hand is a starting port point of the MRP netting process. So if that's not correct, MRP is not going to be correct. There are 23 different transactions that affect quantity on hand. So if you've got a cycle count process, you need to be able to understand what each one of those transactions is and how that has uh, affected that quantity on hand. In terms of the MRP explosion, there's three types of MRP explosions, net change, regeneration selective. Net change says that anything that has affected this particular item will cause the uh, plan order box in MRP to or in 1.4.7 to be checked. And so you should use 23.1 to do net change. Regeneration deletes all planned orders and replans them throughout the entire product structure. And then selective uh, MRP replans only that item. We talked about the low level code. Uh, you should probably run this re low level code update at least uh, once or twice uh, a month and this resets the low level code for the item. It's the lowest level for this part that will be found in any bill of material in the system and it allows MRP to calculate those gross requirements by time period. Uh, you need to set your uh, calendar dates and your holiday dates so that MRP knows which uh, dates you're gonna work. There's also a number of MRP uh, utilities, uh, rebuild, delete of MRP without work orders, delete unused uh, reports, and then to validate uh, MRP production forecast data. And you go in and look at each one of uh, those. The control file is how you set the MRP process. You define the horizon. If you're using uh, DRP, distribution requirements planning, uh, and or uh, and MRP, you can check that. Defaults, uh, this is the order release horizon. So when you have those planned order releases, you're only gonna see those action messages send seven days out in the future. And then these uh, app server and threads have to do with how many uh, IT servers you've got going. So the benefits of MRP are significant and many. Reduces inventory, reduces component shortages, lowers costs, improves scheduling accuracies, enhances the productivity, and achieves the ultimate greater customer satisfaction. Uh, just a word, I've seen a lot uh, on the internet uh, lately in regards to how useless uh, MRP is and that you should uh, not use MRP and start using some of these uh, more uh, recent uh, netting process such as DDMRP, et cetera. So be cautious about uh, that. Make MRP work, and then if you want to enhance MRP, you can go on and look at those features. So 